Eivor. Welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. Any noise yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and... It was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk, unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. Thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Have you got the coin? Show me. Is that the coin for the archery contest? Keep off. This is my coin. My shot. You want one? You talk to my new pusher, and he'll point you two. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drive your brothers in. Who has earned a fortune skimming the box of Be gone! You reek of someplace else. I have a bow and a buddy ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? It was Egbert, of East Anglia. Yeah, right. Be gone, before I kick your teeth in. Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads. Mommy Mum's house. Hopelanders. Thinking they can stink up the place. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor. 
on Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Arrows not fire. <laughs> Deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Pull yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Husa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Ah! Trigger! My friend! My leader! Slaughtered like a dog! By outsiders! By the enemy! Do we expect his reeves to guide us? It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse. You'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire!
you're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? I can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear, if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort, but glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erke should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. <laughs>